Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your HS Morning News. Hello, I'm Hannah. And I'm Griffin, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Monday, February 3rd. There will be a student grief support group meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning in the CCR room, room 101. Speak with the guidance counselor or Ms. Keelan in room 438 for more information. The Apollo Winter Guard can beat her at their first competition of the season this past Saturday. They placed fifth in their class at the Summit High School competition. Congratulations, Winter Guard. Students, if you worked last year, we can help you file your taxes. This is a free service provided by VITA, which stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. A VITA representative will be here on February, Friday, February 7th during all lunch shifts in the Commons area. If you are interested, bring the following items with you. A photo ID, your social security card or a copy, and your W-2 form that, that you receive from your employer. Come out to support the Apollo cheerleaders this evening as they prepare for a national competition. Our Apollo cheerleaders and several other local teams will be performing tonight at Owensboro High School. Admission is free and doors open at 6.30. FBLA is looking for 10 to 15 players to play in their basketball game. It's going to be a fun way to show out and beat the teachers. On Friday, February 7th, we will be on an afternoon activity schedule. If you want to watch the game, you can bring $1 and turn into your sixth period on that day. Many students and teachers have been practicing for this game. Let's go check it out. So let's show out to beat the teachers. You can sign up in Miss Meyer's room or Miss Trennell's room. And if you want to watch, don't forget to bring your $1. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. Three, two, one, go. Right. On Saturday, the Eagles defeated Christian County with a balanced attack, 76-54. Cassie Daugherty led with 14 points, three rebounds, and two assists. Amber Dunn had 13 points, 11 rebounds, five assists, and two steals. Amaya Curry had 12 points, eight assists, four rebounds and three steals. Shelby Beatty had 11 points and three rebounds. Zoe Floyd had eight points, four rebounds and two assists. Addison Carter had eight points, six rebounds. Amari Sanders had six points. The Thespian Society is hosting a Valentine's Day Cabaret on Thursday, February 13th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Any student is welcome to audition on Tuesday, February 11th after school. See Ms. April Berry in the auditorium or in room 110 if you need more information. Empower Equality Alliance will meet tomorrow afternoon from 3.30 to 4.15 in room 321. Y'all are all welcome to attend. Attention any young lady who is interested in joining Girls Who Code. The first meeting of the year will take place on Wednesday, February 5th from 3.30 to 4 in room 402. See Ms. Pakin if you have any questions.
recycling day for the 100s, 200s, and front office areas. Please place your blue bins outside your classroom door at the start of third period today. Congratulations to sophomore Araceli Pascual, who finished off wrestling season with fourth place finish in her weight class at the girls' state wrestling tournament on Saturday. Great job, Araceli. We're so proud of you. For today's lunch, you have a choice of pizza or general so's chicken in the Global Fair line, sliced turkey and stuffing in the Mama's Kitchen line, chef salad or sub in the seven salad line, a sandwich choices of sandwiches in the sandwich line, and pudding is the dessert of the day. We would like to wish all students good luck in their after school activities. Thank you and have a great day. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.